Okay, so I want to talk to you about doing a root system along a riverbank like this. Uh, this is probably a, a, a terrain topic that you don't see modeled a lot in the model railroad hobby. Uh, I don't know why that is, but um, nevertheless, uh, on the left here, this cedar one was done a little bit differently. I used stem wire and then I re-sculpted with fiber paste. Um, in order to do that. And this this tree is actually modeled in such a way that I can just pull it out. Like all the tufting, you know, the mosaic tufting that I showed early on in the content, the reason for the tufts that you make with the static grass, you know, like on parchment papers, you can use them to fit into areas and do patchwork. So that's where that really comes in handy. Now with this case here, this maple, um, I wanna have some root showing because it's on the side of a bank. So how do you get the roots to sort of match the bank? Like, like, okay, so I'm gonna show you how I do it here, okay? So uh, we'll just look at this tree right here on the right and uh, I'll zoom in a bit. And I'll show you how I do it, okay? Um, I take a piece of parchment paper or wax paper will work and I just cut one large enough just, you know, large enough footprint to protect the, you know, the surrounding terrain. Then I cut a slot in it like that, and I just lift it up so it's mounted on a dowel. All right, see? Okay. And then you decide which way you want the tree to face. And I would imagine, well, in this case, yeah, maybe it'll be this way. Because I want these limbs to hang out over the water. So I press that down in like that. Okay. And then I take fiber paste. And then I wet the trunk down where I'm going to blob on the fiber paste. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a big blob of it. Quite a hefty amount. Just get it on your brush like that. And just slather it on there. I like to use quite a bit because I can always pull it away. Turn the brush, it'll roll right off like that. Okay? Put the lid back on, otherwise you'll dry it out. It's not the cheapest stuff around, but you know, you don't use a lot of it, so it should last you for a lot of trees. I've done all these trees with it so far, and I still have a third of a tub left. So what I do is, is I, uh, I'm not gonna worry about it being flush to the terrain. I just wanna, um, build it up so that it has the general shape okay there's one root already i haven't done anything i'm going to try to leave that and then what i do is i just pull it down you can do it with a brush or you can use a tool like this it's it's all personal preference like this will work as well see I'm used to the brush. So what I want to do is just pull it down. Stroke the paste up the trunk of the tree. Doesn't matter if the tree is already painted or has texture on it. Now remember, when this dries, it's not brittle dry, it's soft. Like it sort of has a, a rubbery texture, okay? And you'll be able to flex it tight down to the terrain. 
Okay. And then you can just take your stipple brush and just stab away and just reintroduce some texture on the trunk. Just like that. Uh, I'm probably going to have some grass growing up, so I'm not going to worry too much about that. These trees are probably going to get worked over a little bit more. And this is like a maple type tree here, or even cottonwoods. They tend to have a little bit of a different root system, but maples are like this quite a bit. So that that should work right there. I'm just going to leave that. And then let me just move you over to this one for a second. See, so what happens is, as you can see, is uh, you can peel this up, see? See that? Comes away quite easily. Sorry. Okay, so there you can see, so you can clean up that flash on the bench. And note, like, see how flexible those roots are? This is dried for 24 hours. That's the beauty of this paste. I just love it. It's designed for canvas. canvas. So that's why it's like that. And uh, it'll be like that forever. Um, now, that's why it's 20 bucks a tub, right? Because it's professional product. And... It's just the superb modeling medium. So that, so I'll clean that up a bit and paint that, and then I'll just push those roots. I'll push this down deeper onto the bank, clean out a bit of grass there, and uh, she's good to go.